George Freakan over here. Welcome to Lights on Data Show, live on location from Gardner Data Analytics Summit. Yes, I'm, exciting. I, it's very exciting. And I'm so happy to meet you in person. Thank you. Me as and, well, George. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Uh, it's been a while, and uh, following your content for for some time. Thank and you. I have Appreciate a lot of questions, my friend. Absolutely, man. That's yes. why we're here. Yes. Please, let's hit it off. Well, so first of all, yeah. you you are the co-founder. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. N newly, yes. newly self self-made co-founder. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> of the data color AI. Yes. yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a uh, 20 years of corporate and I said I quit. <laughs> good. Good. That was fantastic. That moment for me about uh, you know a month ago. Yeah. Exhilarating. <laughs> so, well, it, it, you know, it's an inspiration and we're looking forward to Thank see you. the journey and uh benefit from your experience again and Thank the products you. that you're coming up with. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. We're going to kill it. I'm, I'm sure. Hence, now my question will be on Agentic AI. Okay. I, I feel 2025 is the year of Agentic AI. Everybody's talking about it. How does that play a role with Data Color AI? We at Data Color have a fundamental belief that Agentic AI is here to stay. Mm -hmm. AI was here to stay. LLM was here to stay. Now Agentic AI is here to say, but right. here's the fundamental difference. Mm -hmm. Agentic AI yeah. is disrupting every business process. LLM was a very technical uh, kind of implementation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. AI was very data heavy. Mm -hmm. um, Agentic is very business process heavy. Mm -hmm. Anytime when you have a technology hitting the business and hitting the masses, I think it's gonna go a long way. Mm -hmm. So number one, we are very, very excited to be the Agentic AI builder, if you will, right? Number two, we partner with Databricks and SAP. Those are the two big beasts leading the revolution. I, I don't want to say revolution, it's an evolution. So you learn along the way, right? So from our perspective, those two partners are going to be very successful in this journey. Right. And then obviously, from an industry-focused standpoint, uh, manufacturing, retail, CPG, any industry which has a supply chain focus or a customer-centric focus, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's where Agentic is going to shine. Mm -hmm. So that's our belief, and that's what we do at Data Color. And it, I mean, to simplify it even more, I would say anywhere where there's a business process, you could bring in that agentic AI to help 100%. you uh, automate some some of those things. Yes, 100%. And, and you heard Gartner say as well, right? So we have this belief, and now thankfully Gartner does as well. There are four things you want to think about in mm -hmm. agentic AI. Mm -hmm. Number one is the business process. What are you trying to automate? Why are you trying to automate? And what's the return on investment, right? Number two, obviously data, right? So what are the data elements involved? What are the data governance focus involved? Number three, technology, right? Yeah. And last, but absolutely not the least, is the people. Mm -hmm. So the change management aspect, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the four things that we believe in and now as does Gardner. Beautiful, so the driver, the technology, the data, and the people. Well said. Well, well you know, your words, <laughs> <laughs> just summarizing it. I, I love it. And I love that you're starting with the driver yes. and a company shouldn't just invest into it because others are doing it. Yes. And they do need to have a reason and they need to tie it to the uh, what's in it for me, their ROI. It needs Absolutely. to make sense. Absolutely. See, here's the other thing, George, um, we learned, right? Mm -hmm. Agentic is not just for the, the fortunes, right? So I use the word the fortunes and the unfortunes. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example, uh, a mechanic who's doing oil changes next to my house in Prosper, right? In Dallas. Yeah. Um, they are very interested in building Agentic for keeping up with their books. Now keep in mind, their revenue is like a couple of million a year, but they still want to use it because they feel there's value in it. They don't know anything about AI or about Agentic. What they know is there's this technology that can automate their books that can be proactive about their invoices and their supply chain. They're not gonna be anywhere close to as big as a Toyota, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, it's reaching out to the masses. It's the fortunes and the unfortunes that are a part of agentic revolution now. Oh, well said. So I'm, I'm curious about data color AI. As a customer would start interacting with, with the service, with the platform, what do they need to have in place in order to make it work day one or be as efficient as possible to get onboarded? So I think uh, the, the first one, as you said, is the why. There should be some value, some use case, right? So right. Um, you need to really understand, do you want Agentic? Because with it comes a lot of baggage too, 
it's not always fancy, right? So first thing you want to understand is the why. What's the purpose? Is there real value generated because of agenting? Second thing is your data readiness, right? So at least 95% of the conversations we have immediately gets turned off because the data is not ready. It's a quality issue. It's a security issue. It's an integration issue. Uh, it's the people issue too, but I'll get to that towards the, uh, towards the end. So for me, I think data readiness is extremely important. Something as simple as using a Microsoft Excel and putting an inventory of all the data you need, even if it's conceptual, I think that's extremely critical, right? And then last but not the least is the people. There's this um, um, misconception that AI will terminate humans, mm -hmm. meaning mm -hmm. you know a, a lot of humans will lose their jobs. Yeah, replacement. A replacement. But the reality is AI agentic is going to augment humans. So I think it was Elon Musk who said, agentic AI or AI will not replace human jobs. Somebody who doesn't know how to use AI will be replaced by somebody who does. Right, right. So again, um, it's the why, it's the data readiness, it's the technology and the people. Love it. You know? Yeah. Well, well thank you so much for being on the Lights on Data show. Yes. Putting the lights on. Data color AI Thank and agentic AI. George, you're doing a fabulous job. Thank you so much oh, for putting so the lights on data. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers.